Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing um, the Impossible Iron Man Hardcore Difficulty Challenge, where we're playing the game on the highest difficulty with only a safe game and no chance for a second try as soon as a mission fails. Today we're going to look at the first Anarchy mission. Anarchy missions are rather difficult, so I'm expecting a lot of resistance here. And the one thing that um, is really striking me with anarchy missions is usually there are a couple of factors outside of your control. Normally you're trying to um, protect civilians, however this time I'm looking at three uh, projected encounters, meaning no civilians is probably a prevent the escape mission. Um, so let's uh, jump right into that. Uh, we have Verge, Cheer Up and Terminal uh, and instead of Blue Blood we're running Shelter at the moment because Blue Blood is training. So let's get it on. Hostiles on the move. Good. Moments later we are at the scene of the crime. We got a really nice little surprise here. Crit, 50% dodge. Successful shots uh, during the breach will stun and mobility. So mobility is definitely for cheer up. I like the dodge uh, for shelter. And let's take the crit on verge and terminal will be able to stun. Sounds like a plan. Time to Here we go. I noticed a good breach can make a mission so much easier. Oh my god, I already spotted something. No, 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 not here, not here. Yep, right there. The bane of my existence, codices. That's the first target. Thank you for the immediate crit. We got another stun. Yeah, I don't want to take chances. We're going to hit the Codex. Yep. Let's take out the Thrall. There we go. That's two down. Good start. And we're almost killing the Archolite. So the most dangerous target is killed. And now we gotta deal with the Archolite. It's the next next most dangerous target. So this is an interesting mechanic. Um, it says prevent the enemies from escaping. You have kind of cascading encounters of escaping. And every encounter, um, enemies are trying to basically escape to the next encounter. So you build up that wave of enemies that continues to um, escape. And in the last encounter, you need to prevent them from escaping from the map. Um, Elsewise, the mission fails, which I think is a cool concept. I really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be our main job. And in order to prevent them from escaping, how about we're just locking them down. There you go. And let's kill the Archolite. Good. Given that there is another bruiser who is about to act, how about we're doing some more mind control? Very nice. That took him completely out of uh, the equation. The next enemy would be another bruiser over here and the resonant. Uh, we're focusing on the resonant. That's the easier target to hit. Plus he's also fleeing, so might as well want to deal with him right now. What we could do is we could uh, switch it up with the bruiser 
But I don't want to give up our high ground position for a random bruiser. Ah, not worth it. Instead, we're just simply going to take down this guy. I think we have a very solid position up here. Kinetic shield onto shelter. And we're starting to prepare the bruiser. Well, the brute just lo uh, lost its cover, so that was a strategic mistake. Let's get rid of the trooper. Ah, eh, not quite. We only stole one action. But we're starting to now kill the brute to prevent it from escaping. We're healing shelter again. And let's take out the brute. Easy enough, no one escaped so far. We have full hit points. Moving to position. Yeah, since everyone's gunning for him. Alright, this guy here, this trooper, wants to flee next. I can't let that happen, to be honest. So, we're relocating him and pushing him completely towards the end of, of the initiative. We're in full cover. And we took out the other brute. That was perfect. Love it. Solid kinetic shield, just to make sure that this bruiser, uh, bruiser can't hit him. And let's set up the trooper. Alright, can't, can't really mind control anyone else. We already had everyone under control. But we can push down the bruiser so that he can't act. And can start softening him up. And you know, it would suck for him if he was like completely up in the open, right? Losing all cover. Yeah, I guess that would suck. Popping and blocking. Down. Could have captured this guy. All right. We got two entrances. I, the last time that I ran through this mission, I went through the security door and I got royally fucked. Um, I remember that, I mean, the loadout of the enemies is random, but I remember we were running into a codex and were pretty cramped up. So let's run through this side. Uh, this time and see if that changes up things. Stay behind me. Okay, we got an Archolite, we got a Sorcerer, got a Thrall, got a Bruiser, Trooper, 
a brute and a resonant and another cruiser well that's fine i suppose might as well do phalanx here Let's start with the Arcolite. Yeah, he's stunned, but... Oh, that's not good enough. Took him out, that's good. And that could be a bonus kill. Unfortunately not. Just shy of a kill. Yeah, this time there's not even a codex around. Hmm, strange. Well, I guess that's a random part of, um, or the random nature of these missions. Like I said the last time, it was pretty damn difficult. This here would be a nice little hit because we have a loaded shield and it's a great AoE attack. Nice. Let me try again. It's 12 points of damage right there. Chirop once his shield is loaded. If you can if you can make use of it, it's just awesome. Alright, so this guy is going to flee, the trooper is trying to flee as well. Whom can we manipulate? We can manipulate the trooper, that's great. Let's do that. And we could deal a lot of damage with exploding this one here. Perfect, the sorceress is burning, that isn't bad. I'm not sure if you, she can cast spells if she's burning. That guy certainly could escape. All, although we had the best intention to prevent him from doing so. Ouch. That was a good one, I'm, I'll give him that. Your pain is overwhelming. I think he, we gotta heal ourselves to prevent more damage. The burning piece is really bad. We can... Relocate over here. Meaning this brute is now burning, which has essentially killed it. Gotta deal with this bruiser here, he's at seven, so that means we have two more actions coming up. I think we can handle that. Getting back into cover, this brute is going to die. Pushed him down further, which is good. Could either hit the sorceress and kill it, or kill the thrall. I think we're going for the sorcerer. Even if we wouldn't have crit him, he would have died 
basically from burning. Burning is pretty nasty in this game. Kinetic shield for shelter. And let's take out this bruiser here. Perfect. Like I said, cheer up is doing work. Taking out the other bruiser. Nice, full stun for two rounds, that's great. Good, we're healing ourselves. And we're almost back to full again. Hmm. Yeah, I was trying to do the control move, like in XCOM 2. They seem to have discontinued that feature. That's no longer a thing now. The temporal shift pushes him back. I need another healing. That's why I'm doing that. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't yet want to kill him. All right, if we were to push him down further, yeah, I think that's... We can even make, make an arrest without killing him. That was my fault. Okay, only one enemy escaped. And we still got most of our cooldowns. So I think overall successful. The only important cooldown that we have lost is the phalanx. Yeah, let's do it this way because we can uh, use our initiative grab in order to get her up at the very top. Okay, so here we go. We don't have phalanx, which means we're going to take shots. Holy shit, that's a lot of enemies. Resonant, Bruiser, a Hitman. A Hitman is a strong target. Oh, I can see an Archon. That's bad news. Got a trooper over here. Got a brood over there. Got an Archon over there. And an Arcolite. The Arcolite is a good target. But we gotta deal with the aggressive targets first. It's unfortunately a miss. I would like to levitate the brood. That way it's no longer aggressive. We've basically taken it out. And let's take out the trooper. Of course, grazing shot. Holy shit. Target spotted. Good. 
we gotta do a kinetic shield here. And given that so many enemies are going to act immediately, including an Archolite over here with Soulfire and an Archon, the Archon is a real problem. By the way, could take out Yeah, we could take out a few. Gotta get terminal up here. We're clearly outgunned, so we need to play a better positioning game than the enemy. Arcolite is a problem. Pretty immediate problem, to be honest. The Archon is a problem. Uh, yeah, these are our main issues at the moment. What's our chance of hitting the Archolite? Has he hunkered down? Yeah, 33%. Not gonna happen. We're taking a 100% shot. That one is a good 100% shot. Oh, that's probably even a better one. That's four points of damage. Yeah, that would kill the Thrall. All right, one off. Shit, I was hoping we could pin down the Archon. Ah, that is unfortunate. But what we could do is we could... Maybe mind control him. Come on, lock him down. Ah, that's not enough. He will still use his special ability. And they got burnout as a special ability, forcing us to move. I don't know, maybe we can flashbang him. Um, and that will suppress his special abilities. Nope, immune to flashbang, great. Gotta do the healing. Silence weighs you down. Okay, we gotta suppress that. Because elsewhere it's gonna take uh, or increase uh, increase the damage. There is the burnout I was talking about. That's a pretty solid chance of taking out the Archolite. There we go. Burnout deals 3 points of damage to everyone, so that would be 12 points of damage. We can't afford that. Don't want to stand here, that's an explosive. Don't want to stand there, that's right next to the brute, which is asking for trouble, right? But we gotta be efficient with our actions, meaning I can't afford to not deal damage. So if we need to move, that movement was a clever move. Terminal takes quite some damage now. This guy luckily is just trying to escape, which is good. Good, this here is our chance. Who is dangerous? This guy is trying to escape. If we were to put him down, uh, that would not be enough. If we were to put him down, that would be awesome. But we would be in a 
really tough spot here. The Hitman is another option. Hitmans have quite a good aim. By putting him here though, could take a shot at terminal. At the moment we are in a decent position. Another option is taking the trooper over here, because this is a good spot for us. Yet another option is the Archon himself. I think we're taking the trooper. Swapping position. Good. In terms of options, we can kill one, but that would completely take away the cover. Can't can't let that happen. Trooper would die, but the bruiser could kill terminal, the hitman could uh, kill terminal, the brood could kill uh, too many shots, that's not gonna fly. What's the other option? That's a good one, that's a very good one, and we're going to take that one. Kills the trooper, hampers the bruiser, both of them are shredded. On oh no, it did not kill the uh, trooper, well... Moving. Target weapon in play. Yeah, we could charge over here, but we would take damage from the burnout. We could shield ourselves, that way we wouldn't take damage from the burnout. Now is a great moment to actually hit all of that as well. So we could simply shield ourselves and hit, killing the trooper, injuring the revenant, yeah, that's not bad. Could give her shield, that way Terminal uh, can continue to stay where she is. Or even move over here and take shots, right? Hmm, that's not bad. Let me think about it. Three damage from the burnout is not the end of the world. You know what? Let's give it to Terminal. I like that idea. Terminal is going to move next, so... This here is not going to be a problem. It's actually a pretty solid move to get rid of cover and one of them. Cherub, if Cherub is moving, the hitman is most likely... Oh no, his, um, his overwatch is only here. Okay, fair enough. Still got this bruiser, um, and we need to take care of him. The hitman would be an option. He's actually a, di a, diffi a pretty difficult target. So priming him and setting him up is a good idea. Gotta focus damage now. 
a lot of injured but not killed targets, which is never a good sign. Shelter takes a beating, but we do have kinetic, uh, kinetic shields, which is good. Let's see if we can fence off the guy who's trying to flee. Yep, that will give us more time. Exactly what we needed. Yeah, that's not dealing enough damage. This, however, will. Good, we eliminated the hitman. Major source of damage. Perfect, I think that would be a good relocation. The Arcolite would be pushed even further down. We're in a decent spot over here. And we could take out the Brood. Great, that worked well. So we've secured our side of uh, the map. That's a flanking position, unfortunately. Ouch. We can heal. Yeah, let's take out this guy. I want to save the charges on our shield. Okay, how would we want to deal with the rest? Could push down the Arcolite even further. The options to hit aren't that sexy, all of them are 50-50s. So let's push down the Arcolite. I don't I don't like psionic ensure uh, damage. Okay, time for battle madness. We don't need another control. We need damage now. So let's see him attack his own friends. No, he resisted it like a boss. Like a boss. So this bruiser here. I would like the bruiser to be our next target. We still got a lot of evex remaining. Time to relocate the bruiser, push him further down. And we're down to three enemies, meaning we only need to kill one. She guides me there. That will directly go into the kinetic shield, perfect. Charged. 
Neutralizing. Nice. We got the mobility bonus because our shield is now completely charged. Shelter still gets the kinetic shield. And thanks to the mobility bonus, we will probably be able to just kill this guy. <laughs> Look at that, six points of damage, good job. Healing ourselves. I think the enemy can no longer win the mission by escaping. Verge has no more targets to mentally control, so he's just a very accurate hitter now. Yeah, let's shift the Arcolite further down. That's a good idea. And since the Arcolite is a more fragile target, might as well start with him. shots at the only target that could be fleeing. I think we're fine. We don't need to heal. Might as well just go for the Archon. Overall, quite a tough mission, and we only captured four and <laughs> four enemies, but we killed 19. Yeah, that was tougher than expected. Holy moly. Good. We got unrest reduction, intel, and uh, so at least the captured enemies yielded some intel. And that was it. Not much to gain out of it, but we got our training for Blue Blood completed. Perfect. Can you hear me? I sensed it. Right, but Verge, you know how a comm check works. Yes. Then, wait, are you messing with me? Ah, yes. Well, at least you're honest about it. We got another promotion ready. And this one is so good. So Verge um, now has has uh, the option to simply uh, incapacitate every single enemy um, in his neural network, which makes uh, the need for uh, Trank arm, um, ammunition a bit less. So you'll probably see us phasing uh, those out over time. Um, and it, it was Friday, we got uh, from a lot from our field teams back. Um, all resources have been restocked, that's great. So overall, a successful turn. So in terms of training, I'm wondering... Verge could get his second training. We don't need that right now. 
terminal could get her second training we don't need that right now as well Chirop can get his um, second training and remove the scar and blue blood theoretically could get his second training as well we don't need that yet so let's just begin removing the scar because minus three hit points are really really bad and afterwards we can get everyone through um, the second round of training in the meantime we got a team that is fully functional good in terms of city map probably want to deal with either of these two missions here we would get a free field team that's pretty uh, damn good because we could upgrade one of the field teams and then put another field team on top of it and get a rank 3 field team which is very very helpful i don't want another outbreak to level 5 so we're probably going to do just about that we're also reducing two unrest so that's four unrest overall and here we would get some Elarium, but I think we're fine on the Elarium front at the moment. So what we're going to do is a little trick. We're upgrading uh, so that we get uh, 40 credits as a bonus on every mission here. Which just sweetens the deal so much more if you think about it. And this will essentially be our next mission then. And that brings us probably to the end of today's recording. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait a second. Got a new Spec Ops. Oh, okay, cool. That's the one that offers you free field teams. It isn't bad if you think about it specifically if you have more or higher level field teams. The third upgrade is around 100-ish um, Intel. So it's valuable if, if you upgrade it. Um, uh, if you do it plus you also you can upgrade a field team to rank 3 even if you haven't researched rank 3 field teams uh, which I think makes the research of uh, rank 3 field teams less rewarding because you can just run this one here and I think we're even going to do that soon yeah anyways I was about to thank you for watching today's episode and we're going to see each other <clears throat> in the next episode after you smashed the like button and left a comment. Thanks, have a great day and see you. Bye bye.